If you're a content creator or beginner filmmaker in the market for an affordable yet top-notch tripod, you're in for a treat. Small Rig continues to innovate with affordable yet incredible equipment, and the ADO one tripod is no different, pushing well above its weight. Now let's break down why this might just be the best affordable tripod for content creators and beginner filmmakers, as well as some things I think you should consider when looking for your next tripod. Let's go. So generally, tripods aren't the most exciting subject to geek out about, but with the Small Rig ADO one there are a few standout features that are pretty cool, especially when we're talking about a heavy-duty fluid head tripod that's retailing at the time of creating this video for only $159 on Amazon. You can even get it directly from Small Rig's website right now for $143, bringing this tripod well under the $150 mark. This is an absolute steal, especially when we're talking about fixing your expensive camera equipment on top of this. First, taking a look at this tripod, it feels pretty robust and sturdy, weighing in at just under nine pounds, made mostly out of aluminum, but with a bit of plastic, like here on the leg latches, or the adjustable feet pieces. It comes with a nice carrying bag and it extends very tall, just over 73 inches. And here's a pro tip. If you release the bottom legs first, you can actually raise this tripod pretty easily by yourself. Some tripods come with spinning leg fasteners, which can make this process a bit more difficult. So definitely a really nice feature. It also comes with a spreader for the legs, which is great. Now, moving on to the head of the tripod. Here's where we get to some pretty exciting features. First, it's a fluid head with a counterbalance, which is great, especially at this price point. If you're to get your camera in the right position, it should bounce back to normal placement. Although with some more pricey counterbalance systems, you do get an adjustment for the counterbalance, which unfortunately is something that you're going to be sacrificing getting a tripod at this price point. It also has a 75 millimeter ball head, which is great if you're considering fixing this head to other support systems. It also has a bubble level, which is something we've sort of come to expect on a tripod. But one of the most standout features is the base plate and quick release system. The tripod comes with a Manfrotto style base plate and it is compatible with a DJI RS2 and RS3. This is extremely beneficial because without any adjustments to your camera, you can quickly remove it from your gimbal and attach it straight to the tripod. I can see this in the long run, saving countless hours. The quick release system with this tripod is great as well. You can either attach it sideways, putting one end in first, then latching it down, or sliding it in like a normal tripod. It will also catch your camera in the forward direction if you forget to lock it down in place. There's also locking knobs for both the pan and tilt access and a hidden Allen key in your tripod plate, which is very handy, as well as a nice little storage spot on the head for different mounting screw sizes. Now, a few things to note. First, after using this tripod for a bit, the legs needed tightening down a bit, but luckily Small Rig made that super easy. On the back of the legs, you can just adjust that with an Allen key. Also, the fluid head isn't super strong, but for light payloads, it should be just fine for getting some pretty smooth shots like these examples. And at this price point, just the fact that it has a fluid head is great. Also, while this tripod does have a very steep tilt angle, you won't be able to shoot vertical content on this tripod like you may be able to with a photography tripod. But that's pretty standard when we're talking about fluid head tripods. And you can pick up an L-mount bracket like this off of Amazon for pretty cheap. I think it's far better than having a photo style tripod that doesn't have a fluid head. Another thing to note, is for a bit more money, you could upgrade to the Small Rig Freeblazer tripod that has a sweet quick release system for the legs. So it's all done with a single latch versus in stages like on the ADO. Although, like I mentioned, if you just get used to dropping the bottom legs first, you may not feel the need for that feature and might as well just save the money. So if you're a content creator looking for a sturdy, well-built, feature-rich, fluid head tripod, I think you just can't go wrong with a Small Rig ADO one, especially for the price. Now, if you made it all the way to the end of this video, please consider subscribing and I'll catch you on the next video.